channel grow with mike and we are back here and we're doing today a filipino food tour okay it's fucking lit okay we have fucking food we put it in our stomach it's sunday we have to bless god okay okay all this filipino food here and we're here <laughs> we're here in union city man union city is like one of my hometowns here in the bay area it's filled with a lot of goddamn filipinos that can't drive god damn it um, but you know what? It's lit. <laughs> I love <laughs> I love my ethnicity. I love my culture. I just be joking around. But today we are here at Island Pacific. And we're not actually trying the stuff that's in Island Pacific, but there's a stand right outside and they got just fresh barbecue. You can see the smoke coming out from a mile away. It smells hella good. Um, Today there was a long ass line and to get a uh, barbecue you got to put your name on the list and basically you just got to wait and I didn't know I, I wasn't used to that system so I put my name on a list the dude seen me recording and he said hey would you order I ended up cutting everybody there all the Filipinos were staring at me they were like who the fuck is this fucking kid man cutting me I've been waiting here 20 minutes to feed my family and he fucking got three pieces huh so today we got Filipino barbecue skewers we got one pork and one chicken. I ain't supposed to be eating pork, but fuck it. We're gonna do it for the video, you heard? So, Filipino barbecue is very famous and very well known in our culture. Uh, the reason why it's hella smacking and hella good is because it's just a good piece of barbecue that's usually sweet. Their secret ingredient that most Filipinos use is 7-Up. Try that out, just put some seven up in your meat sometimes just to sweeten it up. And it's always just hella good, hella crispy on the outsides, on the edges, but very juicy, tender inside. Very, very good. I ain't gonna lie, the pork is dumb lit, the chicken is dumb lit, and I also got holy shit man, it's a fucking penis, man. It's a red hot dog. These are very popular as well. And we're gonna try this one out first, you Fuck it. Mm -hmm. The sauce that they dip everything in, all the skewers, just like a little glaze and marinade that they put on it. The red hot dog, um, it's just hella sweet. Hella sweet. I want some rice right now. I want some white rice. That'll go fire with white rice and egg. All right, so we're going to get to this big boy thing. Hold on, let me see if I'm recording. Okay. Fucking record. I, I did that before. Okay, we're going to take my first bite of the Filipino chicken, huh? Fucking shit. In the Filipino culture, when they say something is good, when it's put, masarap. God damn it, this is masarap. Masarap, man. This is hella good. It means hella good, basically. It's just a nice piece of chicken. Chicken is very tender, very juicy. Has a nice glaze outside. You can see the little crispy edges on here. Now, is this the best Filipino barbecue I had? No. Is it good? Hell yeah. 
Um, my favorite number one go-to Filipino barbecue spot in the Bay Area, probably top dog, is Phil Lamb. Come on, man. Ain't no one gonna be Phil Lamb barbecue. But shout out. To, <clears throat> excuse me. You know they're so Filipino that the name of this stand on Yelp, or maybe the business, is called Barbecue Stand Outside of Island Pacific. <laughs> it don't even got a name, it says Outside Island Pacific. All right, this is the pork one, let's go. Oh my God. You can't even tell this is pork, it just tastes like something else, it tastes hella sweet. Sweet, little hint of smokiness. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff down because I gotta go to a couple other spots. But overall, it's fire. I think these were only two dollars a piece, and they have put a sign up saying they're raising it to two dollars a piece, June 2021 or something like that. But shit, what did they have it at before? Dollar fifty for two dollars? This you ain't you ain't beating this for two dollars. Man, two dollars. I get two pieces right here. Go inside Island Pacific. Go get a two dollar rice. You got yourself a fucking meal right there. You eat half of it. That's lunch. The other half for dinner. Come on, man. And two dollars for a skewer. Oh, you got. That's eight quarters, man. Come on. Pork valid. I think the pork is better than the chicken too. I ain't lying. Mmm. Mmm. That piece of chicken made me think different. Hey, but yeah, y'all should have seen their faces, right? It was like, I swear, like nine people in line. I never ordered here, so they was writing their names and shit. So I was like, oh, you guys in line? None of them was in line. It was already like nine people waiting. I went up to dude and I asked him, like, hey, how long is it gonna take? I'm the last one on the list, you know, so I could go inside, probably get some footage or whatever. He goes, since this is your first time, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Everybody in line was like this. I've been waiting here. But yeah, man. Two dollar skewers for the chicken or pork. Dollar skewer for the red hot dog. Come outside over here. Barbecue stand outside of Island Pacific in Union City. Yay! saying yo 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 what to do what to do is your boy crow and mike <laughs> fucking shit we're back with another fucking bowl man and today we went to it's my uncle's spot dong silogs here on alvarado nels on the borderline of Fremont and union city huh nah for real uh this is a spot i haven't been to it's called dong silogs it's a food truck been in business for two months Dong, the owner, told me that he's been working at Kaiser for, I don't know, for a long time now. And he's only opened this two months ago and he already wants to quit his job, which is dope as hell. He was telling me, um, you know, he was a mama's boy, so he was the youngest uh, of all of the siblings. And he was always with his mom going to the market, grocery store, cooking and all that. So that's how we learned all the recipes and how to cook. And now he got one called Dong to Loves, right over here at Alvarado Niles. Right here, borderline of Fremont Union City, right down the street from the barbecue spot that I just came from. But today we got ourselves the Sino Log. It's called Topsy Log. So it's a log is basically anything served with rice, egg, and then you got your protein or whatever on the side for your main course. So like this one's called Topsy Log, it's Tocino. They got one called Longsi Log, which is Longanisa and you know there's all the other ones that we're about to come out with one called Mike Silog you heard? so let's give this a go
Not bad. Not bad at all. The Sino is very sweet. Sino, I believe, is pork. It's like heavily marinated in some red sauce. The rice is basically white rice. I think he puts like sprinkles of garlic in it. Not bad. Not bad. Shout out to Dong, man. He's been doing a good job for the last two months. He already wants to quit his job to pursue a full food truck career or food career, should I say. Shout out to Dong, man. whole bowl was only nine dollars off to the next spot let's get it City. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed by the way it looks because I'm so used to these things. I've been having this thing since I was probably like six or seven years old, literally in Vallejo, California, star bread. These just look, I don't know, they're supposed to not look this yellow. They're supposed to be more golden. We're gonna see. It's usually it's a it's a it's a fluffy piece of bread, very, very fluffy, very, very soft pillowy very sweet on the bottom supposed to be glazed and that part supposed to be a little brown so it's supposed to give you like a little crisp but we're gonna see yo did y'all cook these this just don't even taste cooked what happened Right, look, this is supposed to be a good ass review, but like, this is supposed to be cooked. Like, it's supposed to be brown up here. It's like yellow still. It's hot, but man, look. Star bread. I'm gonna go to the one. South City, Vagabond, Union City. Those always hit, never miss. This, I, I really feel like going back and telling them, but I'm not the type to complain. I'd be feeling like, you know, some spots might fuck with the food more. Even though I don't think these people will do it because these people that in here seem nice, but this is a big bust, man. This, this is cap, man. This is not what Starbreath's supposed to be, and I hope you ain't see the yacht like that all the time. So, y'all gotta get it together. 